that our military wasn't necessarily ready for. But now engineers at Kirtland Air Force Base have come up with a solution. And as News 13 Stephanie Chavez shows us, they were under the gun to make it happen quickly. Kim, the tactical high power microwave operational responder, easier to remember by its nickname Thor, is dropping the hammer on drones. And let's be clear, our adversaries aren't using these drones as uh, toys. Now, thanks to a group of researchers at Kirtland Air Force Base, there's an easy way to kill drones threatening our military forces. We create a counter electronic effect and we target the drones and we, um, we drop those drones. We implement a hard kill on those drones and drop them out of the sky. Thor was created quickly for a high-powered microwave system, only taking them 18 months. And taking a normal, you know, five to ten year development effort and shrinking that into 18 months. And the deal is, is that these threats are happening now. It was crucial to create something that could be used immediately. It cost about $15 million to create, and at least half of that was spent in Albuquerque. We created on the order of 20 full-time jobs in Albuquerque. It's practical. Built in a storage container, Thor can stand up to hurricane force winds. It's built to be a beast. Be assembled quickly. We built a system that you can unpack in three hours. And it has a much farther reach than bullets or a net gun, making it simpler and more efficient than shooting the drone. Thor can work off of a generator so it can be deployed anywhere. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, Thor is just a prototype. It'll have to be reviewed by the Department of Defense. That could take two to three years before it's approved. And 